On this hunt, we decided to set up a base camp at the trucks and then use llamas to set up a backcountry hunting camp. After getting the llamas staked out, the first order of business was to get some firewood stockpiled at base camp. So here's how we delim our tree before we start bucking it into firewood. It's always fun to use the forerunner to do things like this. So at base camp, we'll have all the supplies we need for whatever contingency may happen. And we'll use the llamas to have a mobile backcountry camp that's about eight miles in. This allows us to move to wherever we see the elk. In fact, on this hunt, Sam and Kyle spotted a big herd of elk deep in Hell's Canyon. So they took two llamas and dropped down into the canyon to bivouac close to the herd. Here we begin our hike into the backcountry camp area. The llamas, each one of them can carry about 70 pounds and they can handle very steep terrain. So they're great for packing out an elk. All right, we're gonna check out our water cache. Ice cache. Probably solid ice, but let's see. We were actually able to use these, which was great. Oh, it's got some some moisture. This is November. November, tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you really think. Come on, don't hold back. What's our elk count so far? Two elk. Two elk spotted at what range? Probably a thousand yards. Dad saw a nice buck and a couple doe on the way in and yeah, classed up some cows. So better than nothing, we're gonna keep looking. We promoted x-ray to lead <laughs> lava. So November is a whiner apparently. November was supposed to be alpha and lead. But got, November just whines. He got demoted and is also <laughs> currently at the llama without any weight on his back. Yeah. And is still complaining. <laughs> morning. It seems like a really good hunting morning. I'm optimistic. All right, we got camp, breakfast, brunch, whatever, being prepared. Kyle's got uh, oatmeal, like hardcore oatmeal being prepared there. Sam's got everything bagel, cheddar cheese, summer sausage, mayo and mustard. Look at the goods. And let's see the... I found a, a shed in my prison shank for when I get locked up. <laughs> so we kept seeing a lot of deer. These are images from an iPhone. We even found this, which we think might have been sickness or a coyote kill. But then Sam and Kyle spotted a really big herd down in Hell's Canyon. It's down in this area where you see the arrow. Here's another view. And then zooming in, here's yet another view. And here's a super close view of what they were going after. Kyle, tell us about the elk. Well, I thought I spotted them early this morning, but I think I saw a couple of them. They, they went and hid from us. And then we went and walked to a better vantage point and we found them and we're going to go get them. And we're going to come home winners. They didn't go far. So we're going to try and make a play. They headed down into the canyon. I got some firewood cut and went out hunting. I've got 16 cow elk. At 300 yards. I'm going to turn the camera up. I doubt you'll be able to see it 300 yards, but at least you'll see what I'm looking at. I keep waiting for a bull to come out, but it's not happening. I think I've seen all of them now. There's nothing with antlers out there. 
My foot's about falling asleep. All right, I think I need to move on. The day began, the spirit's high. Kyle had spotted a herd of like 40 elk with at least three spikes at the bottom of the canyon. So we devised a strategy and loaded up two llamas with enough gear for one night. And Kyle and I bombed down after in tent on shooting one of those spikes. Um, the terrain was more treacherous than we expected. And even though the llamas were extremely capable, surprisingly so, we had to turn back um, and climb up after getting about halfway down. And so my legs are pretty tired. As you can see, I'm drying out my feet because they're currently rotting off of my legs because we brought really warm boots and it's warmed up significantly. But we're still having fun. We're still chasing elk and tomorrow's another day. I don't know what else there is to what's, add. What's the recap for you? That was probably the, the worst hunting day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't hear about the cliff that you guys fell down. Oh, that's true. We almost we almost lost a llama. Thankfully, Sam uh, held on to that rope with the jaws of life. <laughs> so the, the llama bumped a side saddle, a pannier, on a super of... steep goat trail, and it knocked it off a cliff. Yeah. And Sam just held on to the rope and basically wheeled it back up. So you're you're hauling a uh, llama, llama up by a rope so it could climb back up the cliff. Yeah, I like that llama. Yeah, it's a good llama. So um, yeah, we saved the llama. Heard a couple shots while we were down there coming from a direction that could only be uh, where we figured uh, dad was hunting. Um, so got back to camp and heard that he got some shots off on a spike. It's turned into a pretty cold day. I saw a big herd this morning that had four or five, maybe six spikes in it. Tried to close in and get an opportunity, but was unsuccessful. Time for the daily report. Blast me in the face. Uh, Pops got into some elk again today and uh, got a shot off. Um, the train's kind of lumpy, so he hit dirt, couldn't see much of the elk, unfortunately. Um, I worked the meadows pretty hard and mostly saw deer, saw a nice buck, um, but looking for elk, so kind of tired of seeing deer. I feel like we solidified our strategy, so. Tomorrow, I think we're going to continue to hit the meadows pretty hard, try and get in there early um, before light and set up and hopefully watch the elk as they come out. Uh, we also, some hunters had littered some beer, left it behind, um, so we turned a bad situation into a good one <laughs> and salvaged the beer and are now putting it to use. Well, uh, not much. I got a good nap in today. <laughs> Went and uh, hung out with Sam the afternoon and we uh, froze. Other than that, it's pretty uneventful for us. Hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll get us some more elk. For me, I got into uh, 20 plus elk, uh, several spikes. They were kind of on the move and spooked. They, I, I got the scope on a spike. He was behind a berm with tall grass or what I thought was really tall grass. So I came down and decided I'd shoot through the grass and thinking I'd either hit him uh, or the berm and I hit the berm, bullseye. Uh, that was my day, didn't see any other elk. We did get a rip roaring fire going though. Yeah. Best fire of the trip so far. sitting here on the elk highway where John has seen multiple multiple spikes and we've been sitting here for about an hour and a half waiting for some, some spike action but we have not seen anything as you can probably hear it is very windy and very cold I think we've got all our layers on like an hour 
It's in here freezing. We're, uh, we're putting in our, our stuff from here. You can see we're, we got a nice meadow here. That's seen elk here twice, two birds, multiple spikes. Got a shot off that two. Hoping that they'd be dumb enough to show up a third time, <laughs> but so far that hasn't been the case. The sun's not quite down yet. I think yeah, we're gonna wait till five and probably start hopping between the meadows to see if maybe they're grazing somewhere else. We heard wolves howling that night, and then this will be hard to make out, but this was actually a really nice buck that I tried to get a picture of with my cell phone. What's your fire system, Sam? Feed the base, always. I got a uh, cotton ball soaked in Vaseline, rolled in sawdust as the starter, and then uh, kindling around that, foundational logs around that. As you can see, it's taking off quite nicely. Fire constructed a la Sam. And time for nightly hunt review. Let's see, it's day four. Uh, we spent most of the day camped out in a ground blind that we constructed at a confluence of different meadows, um, both uh, kind of evening and morning hours. And then did a lot of running around looking at other meadows. Uh, during kind of the off hours, midday. Um, just saw a bunch of deer today. Uh, no elk for us today. That, that'll work. All right, my day four hunt review. Uh, no elk seen today. Uh, bitterly cold this morning. Uh, the ground was frozen, like frozen tundra. Every step, crunch, crunch, crunch. Um, so the strategy was to get to a spot early. We went in. I think everybody went in pretty much in the dark. Um, I had decided to go to a ground blind <laughs> <laughs> that I discovered yesterday at a confluence of three um, <laughs> uh, meadows that uh, was in between three trees. And um, just out of pure coincidence, uh, Sam and Kyle ended up at the exact same spot. We actually described it to each other last night and didn't realize uh, that it was the same spot but we ended up there uh, like i said no elk uh, saw deer in the morning one nice little spike in the morning and tonight right at uh, dark i saw another group of deer um, some doe one another spike but a beautiful really big um, uh, three by three uh, massive three by three buck which was kind of fun to see silhouetted on the uh, on the canyon I heard our first uh, wolf of the trip too. Oh yeah, wolf howling at the moon. Cause we have a full moon tonight. Halloween too. Yeah, Halloween, uh, howling like crazy um, off in the distance. So that was a nice touch. Um, what's uh, Kyle? Uh, today was freezing this morning. <laughs> this morning was freezing. Uh, I think I had every layer on that I owned and it was numb to the bone. So we made a survival fire. And it was glorious. Yeah, we, we waited until like 9.45, knowing it would be great for hunting, but couldn't oh, couldn't that, stand it any yeah, longer. That, that fire was needed. Um, I'm heading out early tomorrow, so hopefully uh, these two bagging elk. Yeah, right tomorrow now. morning's last chance, last opportunity. Hunt's over. Last day, double, bu uh, double bulls going down. Going down. The next day, Sam saw several wolves running through the trees, and he was able to get a picture of this one with his cell phone. Pretty damn cool. The mornings were so cold, the ground was absolutely frozen. I actually take my boots off here to see if I can move more quietly, but listen to how noisy it is with just my socks on. 
here I get posted up and I actually start counting deer. I ended up counting about 30 deer that came out of these trees. The day before I had seen deer come out of the trees and then a few minutes later they were followed by elk. So I was hoping the same thing would happen, but no such luck. deer there as far as bucks one spike um, one one uh, spindly three-point and one just beautiful big uh, three-point gigantic like where's it like a crown kind of deer I need one bull elk uh, to come out of that timber So that's, uh, that's it. We haven't seen any other elk. Sam saw a wolf pack and got some pictures of that. And we saw a lot of deer. We're hiking out now, sort of still hunting on the walk out. Um, didn't see much this morning uh, as a, in terms of elk, but did see my first wolf sightings. Um, Bumped into a pack of three wolves twice this morning, which was fun. It's my, again, my first time seeing wolves. So pretty cool, but no elk. Um, about five miles out from the truck right now. It's like 2 p.m., so feeling like we might see something now that it's cooling off. Oh yeah, Kyle saw a nice spike uh, and a big bull. When he left this morning, he left first thing, hiked out. So of course, you know, and he doesn't have a tag. So that was a little painful. Um, but you never know, we still got one more evening hunt left and uh, hopefully we can make something happen here um, at the last minute. We made the long 10 mile hike back to the trucks, finally. It's late, it's cold. We got a nice fire going. You got I'm any? Back in my civilians, my civvies. Sam's back in the civil, civilized civvy clothing. Feels good to be back in sweats. Just and hoping to get a uh, elk, you know, like a mile from camp or even less than that, just on the walk back, but. No uh, bull in the freezer, but overall for the year, Pretty successful hunting, right? Yeah, this is our first uh, skunk as a team. First skunk as a team, last otherwise, year. Otherwise, including the deer hunt this year, turkey hunt, and then deer and elk last year, we, we had success, so. Yeah. Yeah, we had fun. So that was it, great experience with the llamas, ton of fun hunting. For this time, no elk were harmed in the making of this video. It's all good fun, guys. Thanks for watching.